I hope everybody has their passports in order here for these tastes along with Adam the Wine guys, because we're just going all over the world with wines. That's the great thing about wines. It's such a fun adventure, and thanks for buckling up and tasting along with me. Uh, today, we're getting into the heartland, the 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon, and this one out of South Australia, Australia, and yes, it happens to be in the south, but it's also the name of a region in Australia, and today, this is the 2005 100% Cabernet. Uh, this one made by a, a really cool winemaker, Ben Glazer, uh, Glazer rather, who um, is uh, really becoming a name in uh, Australian winemaking. Uh, and this one, as you can see here, let's get a close up. Uh, again, the Stelv enclosure, that screw cap, becoming really, really popular. The Australians, I think, were uh, really on the cutting edge of making this happen on a, on a global level. And um, this 2005 Cabernet shouldn't be a disappointment from Ben. Let's see what we got in the glass. Let's rock this stuff around and let's take a look at the color and see what we got. Rich, 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 and brooding color on this stuff. Um, this one is definitely on its way to a, a monster powerhouse in, in so far as the color is concerned. Let's get our noses into the glass. And uh, rich, rich dark fruits, plums coming through like uh, nobody's business. I'm even getting touches of pomegranate on this one, which is uh, kind of interesting, actually. And, and, and notes of, um, of, of these, these, these apples, a uh, really red, uh, very ripe apple, actually which generally I don't get in a Cabernet, and then I get hints of this mint and eucalyptus, which, um, which I think rounds out that herbaceous uh, end of, of the spectrum. Really, really pretty, and then just enough smoke on this and enough toast to, uh, to, to just balance out the, the fruit on the nose there. Let's get into the time that we like best here. Let's just take a moment. Let's get back. Let's get ready. Let's get, let's get, I'm going to get ready here. I'm going to get loose for the time that I like the best. And that's right, it's monkey time. Let's do it. It's monkey time today. Let's make it happen. Mmm. Mmm. Massive. This wine is a monster. Check out the label. That's what it's looking like. This stuff, just big, big wine in front of a fireplace would be awesome with some really rich blue cheeses, might be something nice. And uh, 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 with a big grilled steak, I, I think that you can't go wrong with this cab. A uh, jammy, a little bit of spice to back it up, um, and then uh, just that nice fruity and smoky tones that give it just a, a real good balance. Check out the Heartland, the 2005 cab out of Southern Australia. Um, and as always, every single day, Every single day, we're going to be tasting a new wine on a taste along with Adam the Wine Guy. So thanks for checking us out. And always, check out AdamTheWineGuy.com.